Hello everyone. Uh, in this video I want to go over some of the basics about keeping your bar and lines tuned up. Uh, it's one of those things that often gets overlooked and people are always rushing out to get another session and uh, just trying to maximize the water time. But it's one of those things that will actually make the biggest difference, or can make the biggest difference anyway, in the performance and the feel of your kite. It maximizes the wind range, it keeps the bar throw within check, and it's just one of those things that uh, if you just take the few minutes to, to check your bar and lines periodically, it'll really keep your kite feeling uh, and performing like it did the day you bought it. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and find some space where you can actually run the entire length of barn lines out, uh, unobstructed from anything, um, and then have a solid point to tie the ends off to. So I'm just going to use this post here, um, and we're going to use whatever we have available to us. I always have my leash on the back of my harness, so I'm just going to grab that, secure it around the pole, okay, and now I have a spot to attach the line ends to, okay. So now we'll just go ahead and run the barn lines out. Alright, so I got this nice open stretch of beach, just going to go ahead and run the lines out. Just like I would if I'm going to rig them to the kite, and you obviously want to make sure you have enough room to go ahead and do this where we're not in anybody's way, and I can get a clear line of sight to the barn lines all the way down to the end. I'm going to go ahead and walk the lines out and untangle them just like I would if I'm going to attach them to the kite, okay? So when I get to the end of the lines here, I'm going to go ahead and attach them to the leash that I just tied off to this pole, okay? And I'm going to attach them all to the exact same point. So I'm just going to take the leash, make the lark's head loop, just like that, secure it there. For the front lines, um, there is actually a hole right underneath that knot there, okay? You just gotta expose it, and you can either use uh, a small screwdriver or a key or just the tip of the leash, and literally just work it on and see it poke right through. Same thing for the other one. And then finally, the right side steering line, okay? So all four are connected to the same point, nice and secure. Let's go back to the bar end, and we'll check out how they measure up. Okay, so with the line secured at the end now, uh, we're going to go ahead and check the, the line lengths from the bar side. Uh, the first thing we want to do is let the trim system out to full power. So on a cleat, it's going to be letting it out to full power, okay? Not full trim, okay? This obviously shortens the front line, so out to full power. So if you're running the recoil bar uh, with the CAS trim strap, same thing applies. You want to let it out to full power before you check any of the line lengths. Uh, it's just the way you adjust that is, a, is slightly different than the cleat system. So I can see that I have some trim pulled here by the difference in the webbing strap. So I'm just going to let that out by repowering on the black, okay, until it's all even, just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and check. And when I pull on everything, I can see that there's a little bit of droop here. If I'm looking down the lines, I can see that the front lines are drooping a little bit. And that's also confirmed by the fact that if I put even tension on both the bar and the front lines, see how I can pull that out? That shows me that the bar is oversheated by that much. So anything probably about 2 cm um, or less is okay. Um, and if I pull just a, you know, if that happens when you're riding and you can see the kite coning and backstalling a little bit, um, you can actually pull just a little bit of trim, okay? And now, now I can barely pull any out because that's evening everything out. So it's a quick fix if it's a small adjustment that needs to be made. It brings everything in closer and evens everything out. If it's a big change that needs to happen, obviously we need to change something, whether it's the front line length or the outside line length. So if the difference between the front and the back lines is minimal, like we're talking two or three cm or less, a quick and easy adjustment, a little uh, tip for you, is you can just lean into only one outside line at a time. I mean, really lean into it. That's why you need a fixed object to, when you're tied off to, because obviously you don't want to pull the stake out of the ground or whatever. Um, and leaning into one line at a time like that is usually enough to get everything to settle on that one single line. And as long as you do it evenly on both the left and the right side, um, you can generally make up that difference. Again, if it's just that much, okay? The other option, if you have either a bigger adjustment or you want to uh, take advantage of this new little uh, adjustment feature that's built into the 2018 fixed bars, is there's a little loop here in the fold. All you got to do is take that loop, pull it out. What it's doing is it's pulling the bottom of the leader line out. And then I can just expose the three knots here. These are just adjustment knots. And right now it's set to the shortest possible length, okay? That's how they come from the factory. So what all I need to do is loosen this lark's head, okay? Expose the loop and slide it over that knot and just set it onto the next one. And you can see the difference here. It's pretty minimal, two, two and a half cm maybe. And what that'll do is that'll take up the minimal difference here between the front lines and the rear lines. Of course, I want to go ahead and mash that on the other side so they're even, um, but it's that simple. And it's built in uh, new for the 2018 fixed bars so that you can make this small adjustment without actually having to walk back to the end of the lines, okay? And once you actually make the adjustment, you just literally just suck it back in, 
and we can match the same thing on the other side. So for those of you riding the overdrive bar, you won't have the adjustable bar end feature uh, built into the bar, um, but you can still even everything out by shortening the front lines, which is the most common line to need to take up length with. So to do that, you just go to the pigtail end and you're just gonna tie a knot, either a figure eight or a straight overhand. So the overhand will be like that, straight through, right in the middle. And then if you need to take up more than that, you can do a figure eight knot, which is around and then through. Okay, adjust accordingly. So now with my adjustments done to make everything even, I'll do one final check. Again, making sure that this is out to full power. Pull back on the lines, even tension. And when I'm putting even tension here, I'll see that this doesn't really come out. And if it does, it's maybe a centimeter. So we're in much better shape now. Kite should fly just like it does right out of the bag. All right, so hopefully you guys found that helpful. Uh, if you stay on top of tuning your bar and lines and adjusting them, just checking them periodically, uh, it'll help your kite uh, perform and feel like the day you bought it. If you have any other questions, feel free to hit us up at uh, support at cabrinakites.com and feel free to check out the website at cabrinakites.com to check out the full range of Cabrina products. We'll see you on the water.